Peeps, this great why making it happen again today with some more Portal Knights. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having an excellent day. I'm very excited about today's video. But just a quick message before we get into it, just so you know, I last minute decided to make this video today. I'm actually going to be I'm probably going to be late for work because I'm making this video. So I'm probably going to go a little bit fast. But the point of this video is that I want to show you guys the concept for this build that I'm making for this sort of PvPVE, like multiplayer MOBA style hero line wars defense kind of game mode that I'm making and I want to get your guys' opinions get your guys' ideas for ways we could improve on this or make it just, really just make it better in any way but let me give you a quick tour and explain how it's working this is the live stream I uploaded yesterday was the beginnings of this I have since made a ton of progress on this game and the concept of the game too it's going to play a little bit different than we originally thought when we were in that stream so let's kind of let's jump right into it here I'll show you what's going on and again I really want to hear your guys' ideas of ways we can improve this or ways to make it work better. So when the game starts, you're going to load into this uh, starting area. You have two sides you can pick from, red or blue. Ideally, it's going to be a 2v2 sort of game. You could do one versus one, but it's going to play better 2v2. So you'll split up. Two people will pick the side they want. I'll pick red, for example. It drops us down to this kind of lobby for waiting for the game to start. Basically, when, the, when you have your two players, you'll hit your green button. When they have their two players, they'll hit their green button. And when you do that, drops you down into this area and now it splits you up into your two lines and the two lines each will, will have two players on either side obviously and what happens is there are going to be enemies here we'll have some probably some grunts or something uh just like the regular greenhorn grunts and i'm thinking we'll do multiple rounds so the first round will be really easy enemies uh the second round will be harder enemies basically there will be seven on either side so seven enemies will start running back and forth and you will come into this control room and it'll lock you in here, right? You're gonna get locked in here so you can't leave. You're stuck in this big old tube, right? And what's happening is enemies are running across this line in front of you. And what you're doing is you're gonna be, let me actually open, I, I gotta open these up really quick, one second. Just to show you an example. These doors won't be closed. You'll be in here and you'll be, as the enemies run across, you're gonna trigger these fire traps to try and kill them while they're running across. Now what's going to happen is every time you kill an enemy, it's going to count as one point for you. And the way that's going to work is you see those lights? We actually have lights behind us. From left to right, we're going to have lights start lighting up. So you kill one enemy, this lantern is going to turn on. So it'll be off, it'll turn on, and it'll, and it'll kind of add up. And so you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you get seven enemies killed, it's going to open up this button. Well, once, once the game's put together, again, this is just concept. Things aren't quite ready yet. We're going to have a door here, right? It's going to be one of these doors, the really noisy ones. You guys know what I'm talking about, these guys. So once you get seven kills, it's going to open up this door and have this button available. So now what you can do is you can spend those seven points that you've earned killing enemies and you can turn on the firewalk for 20 seconds. Now I know what you're saying if there's only seven enemies and you've killed seven enemies, you have zero enemies left, why are you turning the firewalk on? Well, the basic concept of this is that each of you has seven enemies and now when, you, when this team kills one enemy, it's gonna spawn one enemy over here. When this team kills one enemy, it's gonna spawn one enemy over here. So it's kind of a balancing act. Um, you, you don't wanna waste those points and, and buy that firewalk if you've already you killed all the enemies, all the enemies are over here, they're still trying to kill them, and you have no, no enemies over here, it's probably a bad idea to spend that firewalk. In fact, I would argue it's a bad idea to spend the firewalk at all, but there will be a reason to use it later. So, you can spend the points that you earn, but you probably don't want to spend those points that you earn, because if we keep going down the line, if you if you start getting 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 kills, if you get that far, you're going to unlock this second button, and this one, if we look at the sign, disable enemy turrets for 20 seconds. So if you press this button for 20 seconds the enemy turrets will get turned off and what that'll do is when you press that button it's going to trigger these doors to close and what you guys will see is if we come in here and we try and, and fire this turret now while that door is closed it doesn't actually fire it doesn't hit the enemy so that's one way to kind of give you an advantage um and you're probably wondering why would you want to stop the enemy from killing enemies if they if when they kill enemies it gives you more to kill to get more points it seems kind of pointless well let's go a little bit further the way this works is we have 7, 14, 21, 
28 points that you need to earn. So when you get to 28 points, there's also a 21 point thing here, but I'll talk about that in just a second. When you get 28 points, what that does is that's gonna open up this door. So when you come over here, when you press this button, after 28, once you've earned a total of 28 points, when you press this button, it's gonna open up this trap door underneath you. And this trap door is gonna take you into a tunnel that you follow all the way down here and you'll actually be uh, directed to the other team's line. So when you get the 28 points, you drop down, you walk all the way over to the other team's line and you come out on this end. Again, it's not done yet. There's still more work to do. And now your goal is to actually get all the way across their their team's line without getting killed by either the enemies that are in their line because they will attack you they will aggro to you so if they have a bunch of enemies over here uh, that's going to be a benefit to them actually to potentially stop you from getting to the end of the line they'll be able to shoot you at the towers and they'll have their other abilities like turning on the firewalk to try and kill you so you need to try and get across this line without dying and then hit a button that's going to be over here to win a point or to progress to the next level. See, this is what I'm thinking, is that when you hit the button, you progress to, to the second level, which just is going to spawn tougher enemies for you to kill. And then there will be three levels, three tiers of enemies. Now, the interesting thing here is that, so now that we know when you get to 28 points, you need to come over here to try and try and win the round, for example. Uh, there, the other enemy needs to try and kill you. So this is when it's potentially a good idea for, say I'm on this team and my player, my, my teammate, we, we earn 28 points and he goes over there and we spend the 28 points and that player jumps down and he's going to try and get across. Now, I don't want them to kill my player because I want to win this point. So I can actually use, I can use the firewalk. That's not going to benefit me too much in this scenario. So I'm going to keep trying to kill enemies as fast as I can while they do their thing. And I could use the disabled to enemy turrets for 20 seconds. So now the turrets are disabled. They could still turn on their firewalk. They could still... Um, get killed by the enemies in their line um so it's kind of a trade-off you kind of have to decide your strategy or how you want to approach that uh or if i earn 21 points so we have 7 14 21 points this button kills the enemies in the player control room and this is a pretty cool thing i've rigged up a fire trap over here on the wall on both sides they both have a fire trap and the way this works is that you're trapped in here you can't get out there's no way out of here and what i can do is i can actually hook up this fire trap to a oh what's a good way i can show you this let's go like this i can hook this up to a delay uh, let's grab a delay right here place that down right there and if we set this thing to say 0.1 seconds check this out the game's probably gonna get a little bit laggy from this but watch look at that you that there's there's no there's no hero in the game that can survive that I don't care how strong you are if we set that to say 10 seconds you're gonna die you're gonna spawn all the way back up at the beginning so killing the enemy players is something we can do which is uh, pretty cool I'm pretty excited about that so that's the concept of the game so far so it's kind of again like we said kind of a balancing act oh we need to turn this turret off or it's gonna drive me crazy let's get a connection from that oh I think it's from this actually let's turn this thing off Oop, let's come up here. There we go. I got hit. Okay, so that's the concept of the game. So uh, what I'm thinking is that you split your two teams. You come over here. You're earning points back and forth as fast as you can. You can spend the points how you see fit. Again, using the firewalks probably a bad idea until you have a player over here or you need to wipe the board really fast. Um... We've got the turning off enemy turrets, which you could do if you're trying to just stop them from gaining points. Um or to stop them from killing your player running through. And then I think once you get to the end, you hit the button, you'll probably fall to your death, which will probably, I mean, when you die, you lose 100 coins, which I kind of feel bad about, but hey, that's the price of playing the game, I suppose. There's not a way for me to teleport players right now. And then once you hit the button, you fall through or something. Maybe I'll put a boss down here that you have to kill before you can press the button. Maybe we'll do something like that. Um, and then you uh, will respawn and you'll come down and you'll join your teammate to uh, start killing enemies again. We'll use different traps, of course. This was, again, we're at proof of concept right now, but I really want to get your guys' brainstorming ideas and, like, you know, let me know things that you think could make this a little bit more exciting and more fun. Um, we'll use different traps, so, like, um, we'll have, like, different buttons and stuff. Oh, just to explain one thing, you guys will notice I use the levers for these traps. 
I use levers instead of doing buttons. There's a reason for that. You can actually spam the uh, the attack key. You can you can spam the the turret faster with a lever than you can with a button. And buttons have a tendency to get stuck sometimes, which is super lame. So it's like it just kind of breaks the game if you if your button gets stuck and you just can't use that turret anymore. I have this rigged up to input number two on the turrets so that even if you leave this on. It's only going to shoot once. It doesn't matter if you leave it on. So it's basically, functionally speaking, it's the same as having a button, but it's a little bit safer in that it won't get stuck. And it uses less logic box because I don't have to set up delays to the buttons to unpress them every 0.1 seconds or 0.5 seconds or one second or whatever, whatever you end up going with. So I think functionally, it's just going to make the game a lot more fun, a little bit more spamming, killing enemies a little bit faster will be fun. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So you earn points, and as you earn points, they light up to indicate that they're... they're a year they're racking up and then once you get to seven it unlocks this door 14 this door 21 this door you guys get the idea ah yes the one other thing i forgot to tell you is that we are using the waypoints to get enemies to move now the waypoints are a little bit tricky because the um the npcs I can't I can't rig up the waypoints so that they automatically just walk back and forth once they reach their destination. For some reason, I can't get it to do that, so it's going to have to be controlled by you. So that's what these green buttons are for. You press the green button, and it's going to send any, any enemies over here running that way. You press that green button, excuse me. You press that green button, sends any enemies over there this way. So that's kind of the whole concept of the game. I'm pretty sure that covers it all, guys. That's, that's the idea behind the game. So this is my attempt at making Portal Knights sort of player versus player you can kill enemy players with these turrets it's absolutely a thing you can do and i think it's pretty cool um, that you get to control it while you do it plus it, it adds kind of like a maze run effect to it um the point system spending the points i think that's going to be pretty fun um yeah so i'm pretty excited about it. let me know what you guys think let me let me know your ideas do you have an idea to add to this that would make it even more exciting um but I, just really anything you guys got. Um, also, if you, this is intriguing to you, if you know a lot about programming, if you know about a lot about um, combinational logic using AND gates, OR gates, um, exclusive OR gates, um, things like that, I think it's exclusive OR. I might be saying that wrong. I think it's XOR gates, whatever you want to call them. If you know about those and how those things work, I would love to have your your uh, your thoughts on this, and I would love to have your help building this. So if you could join us on a stream or something, um, or just even get in the comment section, that would be very beneficial because I I I have some issues that I'm going to run into with the point system that I that I'm going to have to work through that. I'm not confident I will be able to solve by myself, so I would love to get some help on that. But yeah, that's it, guys. If you like the idea of this game, if this seems fun to you, make sure you like the uh, the video. Give me a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Sorry about the the kind of hurried feel of this this video. I, I again, I'm gonna be late for work. I gotta get out of here. But you guys have been a pleasure as always. I do appreciate you, and I hope you do have just the best kind of day. I'll see you later, dudes.